So what we saw there just now was a crow mobbing a red-tailed hawk. And now it's returned to its tree, or it's returned to a tree, and it's waiting there. And we can see here, the red-tailed hawk has moved to the highest perch in the tree. And before, I saw it actually fly off and go south, and it got chased back by the crows. So I think this red-tailed hawk this red-tailed hawk might just be trying to go about its business. But crows, especially now during nesting season, um, they are pretty vigilant. So there's our poor little red-tailed hawk. Well, I shouldn't say poor little red-tailed hawk. It's a predator, um, and it can defend itself. But it's just hanging out here because if it tries to fly away, it's going to get mobbed. We can see another attack or buzzing. And in, typically in mobbing attacks, the smaller birds don't actually want to attack the larger birds head on because they're larger. Um, and in a one-way fight between a hawk and a crow, it's the crow is going to lose. So it's really a harassment tactic of just swarming around it, making noise. Um, and it's enough to keep the hawk, as we can see, immobile. It just doesn't like the trouble. <laughs> 